Seminoma is the most common malignant germ cell tumor of the testis. It is the, the most common among relatively young men, uh, usually from 35 to 45 years of age. Unlike the non-seminomatous germ cell tumors, which occur uh, about 5 to 10 years old earlier. Grossly, it usually looks like well-circumscribed homogeneous mass in the testis, which can be sometimes lobulated, and it has gray-white appearance. Under the microscope, we can see uh, the solid sheets and nests of the tumor cells or lobules of the tumor cells encircled by the fibers septi. The tumor cells are usually large, they are quite round or polygonal, and they have abundant clear cytoplasm. The cells are usually well circumscribed, uh, there is no nuclear overlapping, and the nuclei are typically round with prominent nucleoli. The cytoplasmic membranes are quite prominent, so the cells are well circumscribed. The fibrous component around these solid nests uh, is typically infiltrated by the lymphocytes, and those are these small round cells, and uh, that is quite a useful sign. Uh, in the differential diagnosis, um, we need to exclude embryonal carcinoma, yolk sac tumor, choriocarcinoma, and other germ cell tumors. Some of the cases um, of the seminoma can be associated with granuloma formation. Clinically, most of the seminomas present as painless testicular mass, and that is unfortunately the reason why most of the people with uh, seminoma just postpone going to the doctor, and uh, when they got uh, to the hospital, they already have metastasis. If the tumor is small and limited to the testis, uh, it has quite good prognosis and uh, therefore it's very important to talk about it so everybody knows that if you have uh, something palpable in your testicles you need to go to the doctor immediately and don't wait for anything else so this is uh, typical seminoma thanks for watching